We want to bring in now, as we're following this breaking news out of Libya, we want to bring in now uh, our security terrorism ex expert, Juan Zarate, who I'm guessing, Juan, that you are in uh, Washington, D.C. this morning. So the latest, Juan, as we've been following this with you over a number of months, this situation unfolding in Libya, latest is that rebel forces have captured the town of Sirte, the hometown of Muammar Gaddafi. And the reports at this hour, unconfirmed by CBS News, but the reports are that he is, in fact, dead. What are your sources telling you? Well, it's not clear yet, Erica, what has happened, but uh, the reports flowing in from various sources are describing uh, uh, that Gaddafi was wounded, if not killed, in the battle for Sirte. And frankly, Erica, the, the fact that there was such fierce fighting in Sirte uh, to the very end uh, probably lends credence to the fact that Gaddafi was likely holed up there uh, and his uh, inner core was trying to defend him to the very last. And so. The reports coming in, still not confirmed, is that uh, he was uh, wounded, if not killed, and we're still trying to confirm that. Yeah, we, and we just put the picture up again here, uh, Juan. It's Jeff Glor now. Um, this picture that we're getting, with what, the first reports were that uh, Muammar Gaddafi was injured in the legs. This picture would clearly seem to indicate that he was injured in a lot more than the legs. Um, and again, these unconfirmed reports say that he is dead right now. Uh, Juan, um, Gaddafi clearly had chances to get out at times. There were clearly times for negotiation. He always said, listen, I'm going to die in Libya. No, that's right. I think uh, he made the decision that he was going to fight, that he was going to rely on uh, his tribal uh, alliances to defend himself and to fight, uh, continue to fight for Libya. Frankly, it was one of the concerns that the Transitional National Council had that he would uh, begin a, and foment an insurgency against uh, the new government. And so uh, he was there to fight. He could have perhaps fled to places like Zimbabwe. People have talked about Venezuela and other places. But uh, he was there, and clearly people were fighting around him. We'll still see, have to see what the reports uh, suggest as to what happened in Sirte. But uh, the reports are that he, he's dead. Juan, you mentioned the concern that he, that he and those loyal to him could mount an insurgency. Um, how much is there still that very real concern, even if he is, in fact, dead? Well, there is that concern still. You have uh, not only his family, but his tribe still out there, his sons. We don't have reports as to what's happened to his sons. And so there are still likely going to be pockets of resistance and fighting, uh, and I think we should expect that. But without Gaddafi, I think the, the likelihood of a full-scale insurgency drops dramatically. And frankly, if he is dead, uh, it's probably very good news for the Transitional National Council because they don't have to deal with the the specter of a trial either there or at The Hague or in other places. And so this may be good closure for the new government so that they can move on and start moving toward a, a transitional uh, phase of the Libyan uh, uh, existence and their polity. Juan, do we have any idea where Safe is right now, Muammar Gaddafi's son, who was, who was the most outspoken sort of person of his government for quite some time, very aggressive, very belligerent, um, saying he, and they're, they're safe right there. Do we know where he is? I don't think uh, we know. I, I certainly haven't heard any reports, at least in the latest reporting, as to where he might be. You know, there are certain suggestions that he would have been with uh, his father, Gaddafi, but also suggestions that they would have been kept apart for security reasons. So uh, it's not yet clear, but, you know, one thing to keep in mind is that Gaddafi still has uh, loyalists, still has uh, tribal members who are allied to the family. And frankly, they probably still have money to throw around a bit. So uh, the sons will still be out there uh, unless they happen to be in this convoy uh, where Gaddafi was caught. How much money are we talking about, Juan? Well, it's, it's unclear because some of the money was certainly outside of the country. A lot of it has frankly been frozen by the United States and other countries. Uh, but they certainly had cash on hand and certainly were using some of that in the early days of the fighting to pay for mercenaries. I doubt at this point, though, that we're talking about, uh, you know, cachets full of money, uh, but certainly something significant. And, and frankly, tribal loyalties probably will weigh out here more than the money itself. And so, again, there are going to be pockets of resistance uh, even beyond Gaddafi's death. Juan Zarate, thanks. Always good to have you with us. Appreciate you coming in at the last minute, too, this morning.